troubleshooting tips, and foiled symptoms. By the end of this module, you will have a basic understanding on the various troubleshooting tips, the fault symptoms in the display of the drive motor. In this module, we shall learn how to troubleshoot a drive. Let's start off with the module. Before attempting to repair a drive, let me list you out some tips that you need to follow to make the job easier and possibly prevent unnecessary damage to the functional components. Here comes the list. 1. Note all the warnings concerning voltages present in the drive. Always verify the presence of AC input voltage and DC bus voltage before working on the unit. Some points in the drive are referenced to the negative DC bus and are at the bus potentials, even though it may appear on diagrams to be a neutral reference. 2. Never apply power to the unit that is suspected of being faulty. Many faulty components within the drive can cause damage to the other components when the power is applied. Always perform the static test procedure for testing the unit after repair. 3. Never attempt to defeat any fault protection circuitry within the drive which will result in unnecessary component damage and may cause personal injury. 4. Always use a factory approved replacement parts. The drive has been designed to operate within certain specifications. Incorrect parts may affect tolerances and result in further damage to the unit. A thorough understanding of the application in which the unit is used is the best approach. If in doubt, consult the technical hotline at the factory 4574-88-6100. Would you like to visually inspect the variety of condition as a part of initial troubleshooting procedure? Just click on the icon. This list shows a variety of conditions that should be inspected visually as a part of initial troubleshooting procedure. Now, click on the respective inspection list to view their description. Click on the play button to continue.